today I'm going to unbag Warsaw 1920. This is a game from Revolution Games, which uh, at the time of this filming, I'm not sure when this is posting, but uh, at the time of the filming, uh, there's they're having their June uh, sale, so you might want to check them out. I did not pick this up out of their June sale. I picked this up as a kind of a coupon code or bonus that uh, came along with a War Diary subscription. So, you know, another reason to look at uh, War Diary there. Um, the designer is uh, Yashushi Nakaguro, and I believe I have uh, at least an, uh, one other game uh, from that same designer. And uh, this is an interesting game. It's it's it it came. I think it might be coming boxed as well. But this one came in um, in a bag, and uh, some of Revolution games or several of Revolution games you can get either way, either in a box or in a bag. And what I'll do is I'll end up storing it in one of my clear envelopes. Uh, once I punch out the counters, I put those in baggies, but it keeps it into a nice, uh, tight, compact format. Uh, so, as I said before, I had at least one other game from this designer, which was uh, 300 Earth and Water, which this one is relatively abstract uh, game of the Battle of Thermopylae. It's really not just the Battle of Thermopylae, it's really the battle uh, between uh, the Greeks and the Persians during that time, but done in a very abstract way. This one I do not think is as abstract. This one I think is more of your standard hex encounter type war game, dealing with the Battle of Warsaw, which was um, between the, uh, the, the, the newly uh, formed Soviet Union uh, gobbling up territory and uh, was really a, a kind of an amazing um, victory for uh, the Polish uh, in that uh, all, all signs were looking bleak and dire, and uh, they actually pulled out a, a relatively surprising victory here. So let's get inside the bag and see what we have here. Do, 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 do. Nice bag. So you have the cover sheet, which uh, something that Revolution Games does that I like uh, in that they put, they don't have that little waste of space where it's just a cover sheet and it's blank. You have a combat results table and it's on thicker paper. So you basically have a player aid here. So you've got your combat results table and your train effects chart right there off to the side. So I do, I do like that. Then you have the, the rules, which are not uh, only 12 pages. We're looking 12 pages of rules here. So not that uh, complex. And in fact, you've got your quick setup right here on the back on the last page here. So kind of like that as well. Then you have your counter manifest here on page 11. So really you're looking at 10 pages of rules. Wow, that's that should be easy to get into there. And actually less than 10 because one of them is the cover. Nine pages of rules. It just keeps getting better. So it's dual column. You've got an example of the counters here. So you do have some graphics in here. It is full color. If you can see that there. Then we have uh, so, yeah, you do have some images in here as well. Here's your sequence of play. Russian supply. So this is more of an operational level game. You have supply. So you get your examples of movement. And there you have it. And then there's retreat after combat. So again, very, seems like to be a very uh, standard hex encounter type game in that regard. Here are the counters. Counters are not are thick. It's a nice thick gray core, it looks like there. Good looking counters. I mean, they're not overly, uh, done i mean it's just your nato symbol with the numbers but they're they're clean and clear and crisp and dual sided as well so there you have the counters and let's take a look at the map the map is a paper map but it's that's not um 
It's not real thin paper. It's nice. Uh, the paper feels a little bit thicker than normal here. Good size mat. So I'm going to have to go up Periscope on this one to see what, to get a better look at it all. Really have to go up on this one here. There you go. So nice looking map, um, clear, clean. Got your major cities denoted here. There's Warsaw. And then you've got charts on here as well. Here's your train effects chart. Uh, orange is a major city, yellow is a city. And so there's the difference between some of the colors there. You have your combat results table over here. You've got a, a victory points record track over here. You've got a turn track right here. And you have um, different phases here. Supply track here. Two different supply tracks along the edge here and another combat results table. So I guess you'll be facing this way and looking at your combat results table. But there you go. It's a good, good size map here. Um, and uh, very, very, uh, very functional in that regard. So, I mean, this is, this is a, an interesting, nice, clean production. And there's not a ton of games on uh, Warsaw, on the Battle of Warsaw 1920. And that's one reason why I wanted to pick this up. Because um, it's a very important battle and uh, was an interesting one. And this one... Looks like it's not just doing the battle proper, it's doing kind of the all things surrounding the battle, kind of the lead up, because you have supply and logistics, and plus this is a, a much more uh, um, uh, larger scale uh, of looking at the operations. You're just not in and around Warsaw, you're doing most of the, I guess, the conflicts and lead up to, uh, up to it. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Uh, Love to know if, if any of you played this game. Do you like this game? Uh, do you what do you think about it? Uh, it looks to me relatively easy to get into, so I am anxious to uh, get this to the table. I've already got it on the table. I just need to punch out the counters, read the rules, and go. And we only have nine pages of rules. So what's stopping me? Anyway, uh, love to know your thoughts on this or on Revolution games in general uh, or this designer. I know this designer's done other games, but uh, I said I have two now. So anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. The best way I know you stop by is drop me a comment. Let me know what is on your mind. Just keep it civil. Take care. Thanks for watching!